Wow Studio is a very powerful piece of software for doing 3D digital design. There are some things that are better handled in LDCAD, especially flexible parts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate parts from LDCAD into your studio designs. LDCAD was the go-to digital design program for many designers before Studio came along and it is still preferred by some designers to this day. There are some features in LDCAD which are not available in Studio including flexible parts and animations so this still makes it a very viable tool for you to be using in your design work. There are also some parts that are available in the LDRAW library which have not been incorporated to Studio yet. I'm going to show you how to maximize your designs by using both programs together. Before that, I had mentioned last week that I created a Facebook group for Studio LEGO designers. We've had a lot of members and a lot of activity since then. If you wish to join the group, I will put a link in the description below and there you can share your works or ask questions about studio and you can join in on the studio lego designers community also if these videos have helped you out please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing them out to others who would benefit from them together we can grow this into a fantastic community so thanks so much in advance for that First thing you're going to need to do is download LDCAD. I provided the link in the description below. Once you follow that, you can go to the download link on the left hand side and download it for your OS. There are two ways that you can use LDCAD and Studio together. One would be to do all of your design in LDCAD and then import the file over to Studio to render it out. Or you could go and do most of your design in Studio and bring it over to LCAD to finish off little things like flexible parts. I'm going to show you how to do both of those things so that you have both options available to you. We'll start by creating a simple model in LDCAD. So start a new model, accept and we'll just go and grab some bricks here and file save the model after you have saved your model you're going to go to file import import model and select the file that you saved it under now we have our LDCAD model in Studio. It's going to come in as a submodel, so you simply release it into its individual parts to work on it. Alternatively, we can take that file, we can export as an LDRAW, name it as you wish, and then you can open that file in LCAD. And again, once you are done working on the file in LDCAD, you save it, you open it up in Studio again to do the rendering. Here's a file I did yesterday just to get a feel for how flexible parts work in LDCAD. I will say it, they do work, but it can be a bit cumbersome. There is a tutorial provided by the creator of LDCAD, and I will leave the link in the description below, showing how to create and use flexible parts in LDCAD. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but it does produce a good result in the end. After you've had it, done here and you have the connection the way you want it again you simply save the file and open it up in studio and i'm going to show you how that looks this is the same file from lcad brought into studio via the import and we can see that the part there is flexed as 
you want it to be and now you can render it out normally. You can also release this part as I have mentioned before it may come in as a submodel so if you release it you're going to get all the little sections that you can move around if you wish to in studio. The next thing I wanted to show you was how to bring in parts from the LDRAW library into Studio. So I'm going to show you that next. There are two ways to find the parts that you're looking for in the LDRAW library. You can either go into the main site here, which I will put the link in below, and search the library. Or you can go into Rebrickable and use their search bar. And once you've found the part you're looking for, you're going to go to the L draw link on the right hand side. And once you click that, it's going to bring you to the part in the L draw library. You will have to download the dat file, which is what you're going to be using in Studio. In Studio, you're going to go to Tool, Part Designer. From here, you will import new. You're looking for a 3D object. You're going to choose the file. Open it and insert it. Now we have our flower pot. You can use the part designer to add whatever connections you need. And then you're going to export to studio. This will put it in your custom brick palette. Back in studio you are going to go to the drop down menu on the left hand side of the brick palette. Click on custom parts. You'll see that we have no custom parts here. That is because we have to click on the color palette and check off the option that says hide unavailable colors and now all of our custom parts are available and we just drag that up as normal as always i hope that this tutorial has helped you out in your design work now that you can incorporate both ldcad and studio components together in my next video, I am going to be talking about the render engine in Studio, so I hope you join me for that. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming of bricks.